In the last lesson, we found out how to carry out a titration to determine the concentration of an acid or a base. Remember, we titrate the substance of unknown concentration against a substance of known concentration. We have only looked at the practical procedures of doing a titration and how to choose an appropriate indicator. Now, we will use the results of a titration in calculations. Start with the titration of a standard solution of sodium carbonate and a solution of hydrochloric acid of unknown concentration. This is titration of a weak base with a strong acid. Sodium carbonate solution is prepared as a standard solution of 0,05 molecules per decimeter cubed. It is a weak base. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. The initial pH of the solution will be about pH equals 10. The end point will be reached at about pH 4 or just below that. We choose an indicator with a color change in the range of 4 to 5. Methyl orange fits these requirements. Methyl orange is red in solutions of pH less than 4, orange at about pH 3,5 to 4,5, and yellow in solutions of pH higher than 5. The results of the titration shows that at the end point, 16 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid neutralized 25 centimeters cubed of 0 0.05 molecules per decimeter cubed of sodium carbonate solution. Calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Here's an overview of the strategy to apply when solving these types of problems. Step 1. Calculate the number of moles of the substance with known concentration. Step 2. Write a balanced equation for the reaction. Step 3. Use the mole ratio of acid to base in the balanced equation to determine the number of moles that reacted. Step 4. Calculate the concentration of the unknown substance using the formula number of moles divided by volume in decimeters cubed. Okay, 16 centimeters cubed of HCl with 25 centimeters cubed of 0 0.05 mole per cubic decimeter of Na2CO3. Let's find the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Let's calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate. 25 centimeters cubed of sodium carbonate solution reacted with the hydrochloric acid. 25 centimeters cubed represents 25 divided by 1,000 to make 0 0.025 decimeters cubed. The number of moles of sodium carbonate is equal to its concentration times its volume in the decimeters cubed. That is 0 0.05 times 0 0.025 which gives the answer of 0 0.00125 mole or 1,25 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Step 2. Write a balanced equation. Hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium carbonate to form sodium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. Check that the equation is balanced. We need to balance the equation. 2 moles of hydrochloric acid reacts with 1 mole of sodium carbonate to produce 2 moles of sodium chloride and 1 mole each of carbon dioxide and water. Step 3. The mole ratio of acid to base is 2 moles of acid to every 1 mole of base. 1,25 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of sodium carbonate react completely with 2 times as many moles of hydrochloric acid. The number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 16 centimeters cubed 
of HCl is therefore 2,5 times 10 to the negative 3. Step 4. Calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume of acid in decimeter cubed. 16 centimeters cubed equals 0 0.016 decimeter cubed. The concentration of the acid is equal to 2,5 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 0 0.016 decimeters cubed. That gives the answer of 0 0.16 mole per cubic decimeter. Now, here is a problem for you to try. 25 centimeters cubed of 0 0.16 mole per cubic decimeter. Sodium hydroxide reacts 20,2 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. Calculate the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. Pause the video for a short while so you have time to finish before the answer is shown. Did you get the answer of 0 0.20 mole per cubic decimeter? Take a moment to run through the calculation. Okay, 25 centimeters cubed of 0 0.16 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide reacts with 20,2 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. Calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Let's calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. 25 centimeters cubed of sodium carbonate solution reacted with the hydrochloric acid. 25 centimeters cubed represents 25 divided by 1,000 decimeters cubed. That gives us 0 0.025 decimeters cubed. The number of moles of sodium carbonate is equal to its concentration times its volume in decimeters cubed. That is 0 0.16 times 0 0.025, which gives the answer of 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 moles of sodium hydroxide. Step 2. Write a balanced equation. Hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride and water. Check that the equation is balanced. Yes, everything is balanced. This is the correct equation. Step 3. The mole ratio of acid to base is 1 mole of acid for every 1 mole of base. 4 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of sodium hydroxide react completely with the same number of moles of hydrochloric acid. Step 4. Calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume of acid in decimeters cubed. 20,2 centimeters cubed equals 0 0,0202 decimeters cubed. The concentration of the acid is equal to 3 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 0 0,0202 decimeters cubed. That gives us the answer of 0 0,20 moles per decimeter cubed. One last calculation to check that you know how to solve these types of problems. Oxalic acid has the formula COOH2. Its chemical structure is shown in the diagram. Oxalic acid is a diproptic acid. It can donate two protons to form its oxalate ion COO2 2 negative. Its ionization equation shows us that two hydronium ions are formed when it dissolves in water. Now let's calculate the concentration of potassium hydroxide when 22,3 cm3 of potassium hydroxide reacts with 15 cm3 of 0, 0,2 molecules per decimeter cubed oxalic acid. In step 1, we calculate the number of moles of the known substance, which is in this case the number of moles of oxalic acid. Step 2. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. Oxalic acid reacts with potassium hydroxide to produce potassium oxalate and water. Check that the equation is balanced.
we need to have two atoms of potassium hydroxide in the reactants, so insert two in front of KOH. Then we also need to insert two in front of H2O in the products. One more check. Yes, the equation is balanced. Step 3. Determine the mole ratio of acid to base. The ratio is 1 as to 2. For each mole of acid, we need to use 2 moles of potassium hydroxide. The number of moles of potassium hydroxide which combine with oxalic acid is 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3. The last step, step 4. Calculate the concentration of potassium hydroxide using number of moles divided by the volume in cubic decimeters. We substitute values and find that the concentration of potassium hydroxide is 0.27 moles per cubic decimeter. Practice these types of calculations. You are sure to find one of these in the metric chemistry exam paper, paper 2.